Hello, Typho Shisha, Typho Shisha, yes, hello, hello, I have so many things to do right now. many things. Is the stream looking okay? Is it smooth? Or is it like doing bad stuff? I can't tell. Okay. Let me uh, lower the exposure a tiny bit in the camera. We'll go from there. Testing, testing, yeah. Okay, so, give me a second. That's a bit bright, you see? It's a bit bright there, you know? That gain needs to be turned down. Right there, cool. No. No. Gotta make sure my camera isn't too crazy dark, you know? There you go. Okay. I hope you're all having a good morning. I'll be doing that Redfall game later on. Uh, once people wake up. I have a few things to do here and Grounded. And I will be doing them right now. As you can see. Okay. Okay. Hail, Mike Brew. Welcome. Yeah. Okay. Where are we? Going to bed is what we're doing. Ugh. Yes. Uh, Christopher Madge donated the Redfall game. So I'll be trying that out. I heard it got, you know, whatever reviews, but we'll see for ourselves, plural, won't we? We shall see what is up. Sir Ian McKellen. Good old Gandalf. Garbage. All right. I have a lot that needs to be done here. I'll make some of that in the background. I'll keep the brick production strong. I have a list of things that I'm trying to take care of today. Mm -hmm. Get my water. So, I, I would like to replace this outer wall with mushroom. And I would like to kill that horrible, horrible, horrible spider. Uh, I'll probably need more than 45 arrows. I'll probably need all the arrows. Mixed with... 
Some other garbage. What is that spider vulnerable to? This horrible infected spider over here that is right outside my base. That occasionally attacks me. Nobody likes this spider. If I could find him, wolf spider, diving bell spider. Is he not scanned? Infected wolf spider. Fresh. He's weak to fresh. Okay, so I'll pull out all these fresh arrows. Is what I'll do. And I'll make more fresh arrows. Because I'm tired of him hanging outside my base. You know what I mean? Mint. Alright, so now we have some mint arrows. And my bow. Mm hmm. And now, let's realign the flim flam. I'm going to try to pull this guy away. Oh no. I'm going to pull this guy away. It's cool, Mike. Uh, you can do the next game, whatever that is. Whatever that is. Whatever that might be. There's some other game coming up. Like Starfield or something. You, know? you can take the credit for Starfield. Or whatever. You know. There's always more games. Alright, Spider. This is gonna suck. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's re realign the Plum Flam. I highly recommend this game, though, Mike. If you haven't gotten back into it. We're not doing ants. We're, we're fighting this horrible spider. We're not going to be stabbed. We're going to be shooting. We're going to be running. We're going to be diving. Let's just not get stabbed. Hyper stamina. And I'll put the everlasting hog stopper on. I should put that poison resistance badge on. Nice snooter, dude. Eat the food and shut up. Uh huh. We have the toxicology badge. And it's time. It's time. Oh, spider. Where am I going to go? I have to have a say. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, oh, in 2025? Really? I thought it was coming out this year. All right, let's go attack this spider. It's time for this sucker tash dude to go down. Where is he? All of a sudden, he's gone. I'm ready. What, he's gone now? Oh no, he's right there. <laughs> like he heard my plans. Shazap! Woohoo! <laughs> Get out of the water. Oh, I hate you so much. <sighs> oh my gosh. I don't want the spider to attack my base. Cause that would suck. Mm. I can't afford to miss every third arrow. Ah! Jeez, you see that? Ugh. Okay. I have to put some sort of platform nearby. Uh. Uh. No. No. I can do this all day. I can do this all day.
Both are explosive, horrible eggs of doom. Oh no, he's hiding behind his own eggs. You should aim higher, and then you'll hit me. Right in the eyeball. We're doing it. We're doing it, everybody. <laughs> Take that, gazpacho man. With your cold tomato soup. Yeah. No. <laughs> Funny dying af after the battle because of those explosive eggs. <laughs> Reno. Uh, 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 horrible. Okay, good. The egg is gone. The egg is gone. The egg is gone. The egg is gone. It's gone right now. Eggy wiggy. All right, so I would like to replace this outer wall with mushroom. I wrote a list of things I'll be doing. They call me Eggman Carruthers. So I'll be uh, streaming. I'll be streaming Redfall. Um, in a few in in a few hours. Okay. The egg is gone. All right, let's go put away these frost arrows. And so I have a list of things I want to do. I, I would like to, well, let me read off those that list, okay? Because I, I posted it to Twitter. I thought about it for a second. And um, there's things I have to do in a order Uh, I posted it, right? I, I, I did post it, correct? I didn't post it. <sighs> what? Either way, I'll just explain it, and then you can remind me if I forget. I'll explain what I'm doing. From memory. Oh, gosh. So... I'm at the point where I need the next tiered hammer, okay? I need that next tiered hammer so I can do things. I did make the uh, tier whatever axe, so we do have the next tiered axe, but not the next tiered hammer. I need it direly. For at least, at the very least, there is the quartzite and marble that you need to upgrade your armor and weapons past a certain point to also apply elemental effects to your items. So, first things first, I need to head down to the sandbox, okay? In the sandbox, there's a bunch of ant lions. I have to kill them so I could then repair my armor in the future. But also in the sandbox, there's a bunch of goodies. There's a bunch of goodies. There's a bunch of holes. Little caves filled with salt. So, I'll be going through this the sandbox for a while. It's going to be horrible. I'll have problems with water and so forth. It's going to be rough it's hot and you get dehydrated faster there's like a debuff where you get thirsty because it's so hot okay so i'll be going through there it's going to take a while clear all the caves boom whenever they're all cleared uh, i'll be ending up with a ton of salt uh the mint and the hot tamale candy so i can then make salty arrows hot arrows and cold arrows i then have to do some resettling and everything and all that garbage back over here at the pond base which is where I am and then 
I have to then trounce up here into the upper yard again. Right over here somewhere, right past the barbecue pit, there is a bunch of these ox beetles. I have to kill the black ox beetles to make that hammer. And I'll be using the salty arrows to do so. So I have to make a big ton of salty arrows by way of getting the salt from the sandbox and so forth and so on. And that'll take its time. But also, I would like to replace this wall here with a bunch of mushroom. And I think I might want to do that first. Nice snooter, dude. I have to make a mushroom wall. Good morning there, Mars. Yeah. I gotta make a mushroom wall made of mushroom. Because these guys keep sort of damaging my flame of lamps. And that's just not acceptable. And so I'm making a mushroom wall around here. I'm making a spiral staircase to go up, up, up. I might get the buoyant platform uh, and build a, a platform in the middle in the middle of the pond to make a spiral staircase to make zip lines. Because whenever I'm over there, I'll be making zip lines coming back down. I've been making a series of zip lines coming down. So that being said, I have to farm some uh, spider web from the hedge and around the corner. All right, let's see how many mushrooms we're dealing with here. How many mushrooms are we dealing with, huh? How many? Mm-hmm. Grounded. Hey there, a Shannon. I'll wait for you to return. And you have. So we'll start just by building a... Um, I'll build the wall outside of the wall, okay? I'll build the wall outside of the wall. And we'll start... I'll just make sure that we're even. I'm getting the spacing down. Okay? I'll get rid of those edges in just a moment. And I might even... One second. I have no room to... Uh, there we go. I didn't have room to remove my bow from my hands. You know? I couldn't put the bow away. Yes. So, hey, Shannon. Making fantastic progress. This is like episode seven or something. I started back over and they made a bunch of new changes to the game. And it's great. I got him. They made a bunch of changes. It's awesome. Maxwell Smalls. Yes. The game is better now. There's levels of coziness I have to establish at my base. And there's weird buffs, new mutations, and a ton of new base items. It's, it's great. Hmm. Should I, should I bring it out? I think I should maybe... I should maybe ha 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 maybe just maybe if I brought this out give me a moment ooh ee ooh ah ah I knew it I knew that would happen I would like to bring this out maybe one more tile ugh I can't see captain Give me a second. I'll start on this side. You know, I can start by just repairing the walls that are broken with mushroom. That's the smart thing. Start off with the thing. I was going to bring it out. I'll just replace what I currently have. Otherwise, it gets kind of messy. This terrain isn't the flattest terrain, you know? I think I already have it just fine. Now, what I could do is I could add the curvy piece, because that's always fun. Let's add some curvy action. There we go. Throwing a curvy flim to the flam.
And I'll need more mushroom, clearly. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. We're not swimming in the plim. We are not swimming in the plim right now. Oh, I think, I think this is too close. I'm gonna move it over just a second. It was blocking me. Yeah, that, that was it. I'll bring it back in just a moment. I was being blocked, oh no. Just a little bit. Yes. I was looking forward to your return there, Shannon. I was looking forward to it. Hmm, yes. I'll bring this back. And right there. Cool, cool, cool. Ha! I'll fix it all. Don't you worry. As for all this, I will replace one by one. <laughs> Replacing. Get over there. You will be moved. They were supporting each other. In a union. Here you go. Just a little bit. I'll get into my builder build mode. Or whatever. Bam. So now I can hold 20 pieces of grass. Oh yeah. Blades. Yep. See, that spider was outside my base and was like... Interrupting my flim flams for quite some time. That spider wasn't always there. That infected horrible spider thing. It appeared after I shut down the gas. You know, I plugged up the gas with the bubble gum. Whenever you do that, there's no more gas in the haze zone. But then the entire map gets a little bit harder. Because now there's spots where there's explosive mushrooms and infected creatures. Just waiting. Okay. I'll take this piece over here. And a patch. I know it's getting dark. We want round things in our lives. You hear me? Dave huh. and a haircut. Two bits. Huh. Welcome to the brick. Okay, so now it's time for nighttime. Yeah. All right, Shannon. Yeah, Thursday and Saturday off. Okay. All right, let's go to bed. You see my cool house? What? I have to keep working until 21 flim flam. Okay, let's keep on working. Working. Going. Working. About the flim flam. Hmm. What is wrong? So in other words, I'll just have every other spot. There we go. So I can tear down this. I'm trying to uh, maintain a motif to stay efficient. I'll have every other flim flam spot have a foundational tile. 
It doesn't need to be the entire thing, especially now that I have uh, the mushroom. It's strong enough. Okay, I think it's officially quote unquote nighttime. Now let's go take all this grass I, I was manhandling. Here, just for your convenience, I'll put my headlamp on. Before I had it off because there was a horrible spider nearby. Look all this grass I can hold. Someone get that poor dude Uh yes, I have the trampolines. Shannon. I don't need it here yet. I have it at my other base. I will be building a a, a tower here. Uh, and with the tower, I'll be needing the trampolines. Yeah. Uh-huh. I could get the burr floor as well, now that the burr is out, and now that I have the level 3 axe. Good to go. Let's shed this back a bit. Right there, right there. Okay, okay, okay. Awesome, awesome. Just like everything else. Because everything is awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. I could probably expand this section out a little bit. Even though I'm out of brick. Let's go through my mushrooms now. Go, go, go. Yeah. All these mushrooms dancing around my home because the... So, the mushroom attracts the weevil, which is cool. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow. There's many new features, and I'll show uh, I'll show them to you in time. Okay, if you're watching, just be aware. There's a, a lot of, of cool new stuff, and you'll see me do it on occasion. Yeah. A lot of new stuff. I'm in the area, baby. I'm in the place. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Is the update as splendid as I expected it to be? Dare I say... More? More. Shannon, more. More! So what did I think the update was going to be? I thought the update was going to feature the Handy Nat, which is a helpful gnat that flies next to you and build things. You know? But first of all, the handy gnat is a thing, but it's only available um, if it's only available for the um, if you're in creative mode or in a custom game, so I can't even use it. First of all, and I heard about some other features, like a super duper machine, and whatever. But then, when I when I installed the thing, I read uh, coziness levels. So here is one new thing I'll be showing you, if you're ready. If you're looking around, you'll, I'm sure you'll see a couple new base items, like this true drawer shelf, which is new. Okay, that's new. That's new. This chair is new. That shelf is new. That grandfather clock is new. That shelf is new. Those pots are new. Uh, there's a bunch of new stuff, okay? Let me turn off my, my, my headlamp. We're, we're indoors. You can be smart, fast, lucky, or just wear some armor. Okay. If you see there down, right down below me, right down below me, in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, here, I'll show you. Right
if you look <laughs> right there in the corner of the screen, <laughs> you'll see the 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 coziness level. There are now levels of coziness. I think I've maxed it out already. I don't know because I have all this garbage in my house. I was trying hard. If you put a bunch of this cool base item stuff in your house, you end up with this level of coziness. Right now, it's set to level five. Now it's level four. Level five, you see? It's because I have so much stuff in a concentration. Every every item has a, a lends a certain level of coziness to the mix. And yeehaw. At the very least, what happens is you end up with uh, your hunger drain is reduced, your thirst rate is reduced, and you heal over time. Okay? But that's only while you're in your base. But what you get is, if you sleep in a comfortable base, you get a uh, all-day bonus to your hunger fullness and your thirst saturation. Which is great. Now, on top of all that, as you increase your comfort levels, your, your coziness levels, you, you're unlocking uh... You're unlocking new base items. So I've unlocked a, a bunch of cool stuff by raising the level. So every time it, it rose a level, it was really awesome. It said, cozy, super cozy, ultra cozy, and so forth, you know? And whenever that happened, I, I got a new mutation, which is really cool and exciting. And it gave me a bunch of new stuff, like wall dividers and so forth, and fireplaces, right? It gave me this new, this new mu mutation right here called Hauling Hero. And now I can hold up to 20 items. It's just insane. Before, it would take a lot to hold a lot. You'd have to have the full ant armor, plus there's a badge that you wear, plus there is a smoothie that you drink. Okay? A smoothie you drink, the ant armor, and so forth and so on. You end up holding a certain amount. I don't have the, I do. So I'll show you right now. So I'll wear the ant armor, and I'll drink one of these smoothies. Okay, and now my hauling strength is higher. It's three higher from the armor, and I'm, I'm not sure how much higher from uh, the smoothie, but, hmm, I can hold 25 right now. That's whether or not the smoothie even works. Okay. So it's 10 here. Three. See, I'm not even sure how much you could even hold. But all I know now is that if I have... I, I can hold up to 25 right now. That might even be the limit. I'm sure there is a limit. It might be capped off, but 25 is quite a bit. I know I can hold 23 with this armor and that. So I guess the... The smoothie gives me two more, so I'm, I'm up to 25 now. Two from the smoothie, three from the armor, and 20 or something from the perk. But I'm not even sure how much the default rates, but this is a lot, okay? Being able to hold 25 plus loading up a full tray is pretty darn ridiculous. And dare I say, game-changing. Yes, yes. Okay. No women crime, but so now we know what we're doing and we know why we're doing it, but not really. I'm still chopping down these mushrooms and I'm still uh, moving things around. It's just I had to stop what I was doing because it was nighttime and I had to go to bed. And then I was explaining some stuff, but I'm not done with this work here. We're doing this work. All this hard work here. I was just trying to show you. N. Okay, where is the grass? I don't want to dilly dally here for too long. Hey there, Gregory. I'll be live with my first impressions of Redfall in a handful of hours. Okay? Like at, you know, in like four hours or so. Just like a fruit Whatever. 
So now, I'm on a mission to go across the map. I'm trying to go to the desert, okay? But I'm also trying to do all kinds of other stuff. And I should probably do that stuff first. So, we're doing that stuff first. I'm starting off I'll in the... Up. In the safari armor. Oh, yeah. But not really. I have 38 precious arrows. I'm not going to spend my other arrows on the stuff. I'm using the toxicology badge on my chest. I have two dandelions. I have the hot dog. And I think we're good to go. I got some bombs. Okay. And I have the new axe. Here we go. And I have my aphid shoes on. And the boots are right there. Gotcha. So now let's just shift my build over. So another thing new with this update is... One second. Another thing that's new with this update is... Uh, the mutation loadouts. Let me do one more thing before leaving. I have to work with this mushroom. And I have to make sure that there's uh, always brick being produced in the background. Okay. Okay. Alright. So now the first thing I'm doing is I'm heading down to the... I'm heading down to the... Uh, hedge. Okay? And I'll be getting a bunch of berries, and I'll be trying to dig towards the bird bath. I'm, I'm, I'm getting precious supplies along the way. Those grubs are precious because uh, they have the goo that is needed to make the smoothies. Sometimes I like to kill those creatures just to have rotten meat so I could plant more of those mushrooms. I don't really need the sprigs right now. All the sap I pick up and I move it from base to base. You know, I move this sap down below to the other base and I have it sit there for a while. I should have a box here for it. I have a box down the hill. It takes a bit long to run back up and down the hill. In theory. In theory. Let me chop down this... Uh, these plants here. I can finally chop them down now that I have this axe. So you see, I have this mutation loadout system, and it's just fantastic. I can easily swap between ranged and wood chopping and melee and all that. Okay, we're going. I'm taking these burr with me. And I have to have a bunch of pallets as I go as well. All the stuff we have to do is just nuts. Yeah. I'll put the pallet down now. Yes. Let me just, uh, I don't want to waste the precious axe. I'll put this right here. I'll be using both axes. I'm just getting some dry grass here. There needs to be a whole field of these guys eventually. So I'll come back down and do that in just a moment. Mm. Something we have to do. And I'll make some rope in the field. Okay, we're moving on. I will still uh, head by the tree as I pass through. And I do need this mushroom. gotta do people you can't always be in a hurry I sort of have to work through this area 
for a second. So I'll do that. Let me cleanse around this tree for a day before really heading out there. The first thing I did was I repaired my wall and I killed that spider, okay? And we talked about things. The second thing that we're doing is I'm clearing around the tree. We're clearing around the tree. This swap out this mutation, the anti-poison for the extra fast thing. And I'll do a quick little drive-by on the base again and drop everything off with the end button. See, Valheim doesn't have that feature, unfortunately. You can't just hot swap as you do a drive-by. There we go, there we go. Hot swap completed. Let me go back. I have to go clear everything around this region. There's a lot of precious resources I need over here that I'm actually very low on. I've been doing so well. I tried to give you an overview of what I've done so far because if you're just now catching up to the stream, this is like episode 7 or something and stayed nice and efficient with it because I know what to do. Uh, I built my first base over there by the hedge and we're sort of heading in that direction. We're sort of heading vaguely in that direction. Do I have those awesome red lights at my house for nighttime? You're able to change colors and I, I have some set for blue. I don't have any set for red. Before I had the inside of my staircase set to red and the outside of my staircase set to blue, if you rem remember. And that's really where I had my red lights at. But uh, because it's kind of hard to see. It's a nice aesthetic effect for the perimeter of the base. Well, let's just say it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier to uh, set lights now. It's a lot easier to set lights now. Because you can copy existing light colors and, and transfer them around. And you could also color uh, or you can make a light and have it set as a color and then copy that color around so yeah so I made a base over there by the thing it was nice I was experimenting with the coziness levels and built some wall and killed a bunch of Bob Madeir beetles I'm playing on a really hard difficulty so the game in general is actually really really dang hard this is actually a super hard and challenging experience almost like Elden Ring these bugs are insane it was insane last time as well. It's just, eventually you reach a point with your strength where things are manageable because you have really good armor of a different variety and you have all manner of different mutations and you have elemental damage and magic and the right tool for the job. But when you're first starting off, you don't have the right tool for the job. You have whatever the heck you have, you know? So everything is a massive nightmare where you're, you're barely trying to peck at things, trying to survive. But now I have the mosquito rapier. It's nice. I have the black ant uh, shield, you know. And I just made that new axe yesterday so I can get that burr. But yeah, we went through the, the bush back and forth. Killed some bombardier beetles. Slowly worked our way up in progress. Worked more and more through that uh, bushy bush. And did what we had to do. I eventually made a small base in the shoreline over there by the pond and then cleared out the pond. I'm trying to multitask here. It's kind of hard. Let me get this mushroom. I made a base over here, you know, with the purpose of dipping through the pond a little bit, but I wasn't ready to actually clear the pond, you know. And then I was dipping through the, the toxic area a bit. A tiny bit, you know, you have to make the gas mask, but that requires killing uh, a bunch of garbage. 
you know. It's just a lot, a lot of work across the board. But, pulled through, pulled through. I cleared the ant hill, you know. I killed a million ants with my moderate means and bad arrows and so forth. And it took a long time and I used the stink bug to help me and everything. It was pretty awesome. I'm looping back to my base right now to go drop this stuff off. Right now I'm going around the tree to collect these acorn and other, like the mushroom, and I'm dropping it off. And... Yeah. Uh... I made a few zip lines, but I'm still working with... I did just start, just remember this. It seems like I'm c kind of far along because of the gear I have. But I, I did just start. I haven't even cleared the sand pit one time. I've only killed a handful of ant lions enough to get this armor. You know? I've only killed, uh, I think, one black ox beetle. Yesterday. You know? We just started. I just dipped into the upper yard yesterday. Just a little bit. Okay, so, uh, yep, I built a zip line going across a little bit. A tiny bit, you know, uh, just like one. And I went up to the yard, cleared out the thing. The hedge was rough, but we made it through because I knew what to do and pulled on through. Got the scanner up and running, got a few feathers, enough to make some arrows. As you can see, my roof is still the standard clover. Clover roof. You see, we, we still have the standard clover roof. That has to be replaced with feathers, which will happen over time. Okay, I'm done with that drop off. We're going over here now. All the way over here to the mites to go clear them out. And there's a couple stink bugs. So I'll put my gas mask on now. And here we go. Yeah, uh, I cleared a route through the back end. Made a zip line coming down. But we still have to make more. I still don't have a massive zip line tower. I made a minor tower across the map, which I'll show you in a bit. But it's not big enough to get anywhere decent. So right over here, there's a bunch of mites and some stink bugs. Let's kill, kill a stink bug first. The stink bug also does a massive amount of damage when it jumps on you. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll kill 85 million mites now. I'll keep this gas mask on for a second. Yeah. Now, with this last update, these mites are really, really, really important now. Okay? Before they're used for arrows and everything and whatever. But now with this new update, with this new update, you're, so, you're sort of supposed to make a series of these stuffed creatures. For example, I'll make one right now. Maybe, once I get seven, three more of this mite fuzz. It costs ten mite fuzz, it's so expensive. For example, this aphid here. I can make a stuffed aphid with mite fuzz. I need two aphid and two mite fuzz, and I get a stuffed aphid. Okay? And the stuffed aphid, if I pet the stuffed aphid... How about this one? Or, or this guy as well. Let's try this. Let's make a stuffed weevil. I need one more weevil meat. They asked so much of me. Okay, I'll make one now. So if I make this stuffed animal... And you could make these things before, but they didn't do anything. But now they do something. 
See, now that gave me a luck bonus. Isn't that cool? It says right here, loot luck harmless. Harmless. So that increases all my luck, loot luck from all like aphids and weevils. It's, it's a whole tier of creatures. You see? So I'll move this guy with me. So if, if I ever want to loot, and probably grub as well. It's like a whole tier of creatures. So if I'm looting a bunch of grubs in the ground for their goo and whatnot, and if I want to have a higher chance of getting what I need, then it's important. You know? Drive by. Let's go swap it out again. Nice and safe. Safe and sound. Okay, I'll be drying that guy. Whoopsie. Gotta go first person. Making me try over here. Golly. Okay, we're making sure there's no mushroom over here. This grass should be used for something important. Now, at this point, I could probably get more, more of these planters going. Probably can and probably will. Let's do it right now. So, with this new update, you're able to copy things. That was refreshing. You're able to copy things. So, I want to copy this right here. And then, I will be needing a bunch of rope. I'll make what I can. I'll copy this. Over here. There we go. The the meat is more over here. Yes. So right there. And again. Because I can craft it where I have all the stuff. And bring it over here. Alright. Let's go spread this out a bit. Yep. And mushroom. And then... Do it again. For that grand harvest. And these mushrooms do promote a ton of these weevils uh, to spawn around. Oh no. I pressed the wrong button. I want to make sure that this was happening in the background before I do all kinds of stuff around the map. It's really important to have these long-term resources generated in the background. Otherwise, that'd be silly. I just heard my grandfather clock ding, so another hour went by. Look, it's 1800. Isn't that cool? It'd be better if it went ding, 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 and not just ding. You know? We're almost done here. Right there. Okay, the rest I'll turn into slurry. Let me go clear this whole corner. I will be having lights on the outside and everything, okay? I just built this thing. I do like the red look um, against the white. Like the red light with the white brick and the green floor is really nice. That combo. Yeah. Alright. Put over here. Yeah. Okay. I move this over. I'll get number three. Ooh wee. And I need more clay, of course. So we're all done here. What do we have? What do we have? Let's let's go uh, dry these aphid. Now I did lose a drying rack from that spider. I think I lost two actually. 
Oh boy. Let's craft some rope. I also need to go farm more bombardier beetle because I used all my bombardier beetles making glue like a big schmoman. All right, let's go dry all these aphid. There you go. This guy will go right there. And boom, we have, I'll eat this before bedtime. It's about to rot anyways. Done. So I think we're good to go for bedtime. Time for bedtime. And I can go into the water really quick before going across the map. So before going to bed, I'll get into my water gear. All geared up. All right, so I'll be diving into the water. I'll be getting a, a collection of clay, lily pad wax, the grass, and the other garbage. Okay. Swim speed, good to go. Awesome. Drop off what I got. I say hip to that. And then get the water. It's no lemon crime, but it's And then lemon. make sure I have my trident and bone knife. Bam. Boom. Bam. Boom. Okay. And there you go. Put the hot dog on, and we dive in with the greatest of intentions. We have javelin ear, meat shield, coup de gras, myrtine, and spicy safety. And give me one second. And. I need a glow torch with me. I have to make a lantern. Now, we realized yesterday that these buffs for the water, they're creature specific. Okay? It's creature-specific buffs. Pretty sure. It might be. Now, this tadpole, I have to get... See, I have to kill five gnats. It's not just the meat. That's why the fuzz is so important. Alright, anyways. I had to get my land... Turn. Don't you know? There we go. There we go. We're down here for a variety of reasons. Right there. Also, let me swap out one, one more mutation. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll put on the digging. Let's not drown, though. That'd be cool if I didn't drown. There we go. If I can get this clay faster. Hey there, Benjamin, and everybody else. I'll be streaming... Oh, boy. I'll be streaming some Redfall later. I kill this guy, he'll give me air. You know how it works. Thank you. And they have web. My land. 
This land is my land. Thank you. Where is it? There it is. Give it to me. So I'm getting a bunch of clay and my muscle sprouts. See, it, it's it's hard to fight the urge to get things done versus maintaining what you have. Like the urge to push forward with progress once you know what to do it requires a lot of self control. So while I'm here, let's get some bone. It's a good important thing to do. Hey Shannon, have you thought about becoming a subscriber? For five bucks a month, you should totally do it. You get yourself a badge, you get access to cool new flim flam. I mean, you said you're 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 in some job that has a crazy schedule. You could totally become a subscriber. You get yourself a cool badge and cool stickers. Hey, everybody out there. If you're currently a subscriber to the channel, can you please uh, blast the chat with them faces? Thank you, Brayden. See, Brayden knows what's up. Brayden knows what's up. See that? Don't you want that red face? I need these subscriptions. You hear that, everybody? If you're not actively in chat, you can totally support the chat indirectly by hitting that subscription button. Ooh. We're currently at 53 subscribers. Once we hit 200 subscribers, going to Disneyland. 200 subscribers equals lightsaber. Yes. With that being said, I will be live with Redfall in like a handful of hours. Okay. All right, let me get some air. All righty. You're excited for Redfall? Oh, so, um, I was wondering why Bethesda was talking about the game. I, I saw some posts on, on Twitter uh, from the Fallout account talking about Redfall. And they're saying congratulations to Arcane Studios for their Redfall release. And they had some fake uh, perk with the vampire Pip-Boy guy, you know? Talking about uh, another settlement needs your help. The town of Blah Blah is under attack by Nightcrawlers. You know? That's cool. But then I, I saw further that Arcane Studios is a subsidiary. Oh, the, they're connected with with um, Bethesda. They might have also made the other game I was playing. There's some other game, like Time and everything. It was like a weird game. It was an asymmetrical PvP game involving Time and looping the looper or some weird thing. Some game. I forgot what it was called. But Arcane, uh, I don't know what else they make. Do they make something else really popular? Like League of Legends or something? Either way, when I, in I installed the Redfall games earlier, and it said Bethesda. It said Bethesda Studios. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, there you go. I'm a bone guy. Doing bony things. In the morning time. Sippy, sippy. I will not drown. I'll be saving the... Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Oh no. Get it. I'm running out of breath, Captain. Doesn't matter. You gotta dig these bones up. 
I don't care if you drown. Come on now. Eh. I got 25 seconds. We're fine. Uh. I got 20. I have a whole 20 seconds. <sighs> yes, it's a good thing I, I chose to come down here. It wasn't even on my, my schedule, but this is something I have to do every couple days because this is where the bones and the scales come from. And you need them for the occasional thing. You know, all of a sudden you have none. I already have enough of these, don't I? I've already done the secrets here. We're just going back through. Mm. Ah. Yes. Oh my goodness gracious. A while ago, I read off some top 10 list of survival games, and Valheim was up there. I'm not quite sure where Grounded ranked, but I think it should get a pretty high rating. Or at least, I think the rating should be a bit higher than whatever it was before this last update. It should go up one rank. Whatever it was, it needs to go up one rank, because it's a bit more satisfying across the board. Being able to do the hot swapping, you know, build out and thing. It's nice. Let's go kill this spider. And get her breath back. I have a whole minute. No. There you go. I have a whole minute. Once I kill him, I'll get full breath. Ah. But yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. So the, the pond equals clay. Uh, that was not a wolf spider. That, that was a diving bell spider in the water. The wolf spider is actually like four times, uh, twice as, uh, four times as large as, the, as that horrible thing. I'm still not able to kill wolf spiders. I'm still vaguely unable to kill them. They will still vaguely kill me. I still have to cheese them a little bit more and then I'll be good to go. Once I'm in like the next set of armor or, or whatever, and I have the next level of anti-poison powers, I'll be good to go. But they're poison so strong, and they jump, and basically, if you miss any block, you're sort of dead. You have to be perfect. Over time, you end up being perfect, naturally. It's just predictable. Like, for example, I have to, oh my gosh. You have to be perfect when fighting these guys. Like that. Like, you have to block. I'm blocking at the exact right time. You have to block right, like, right there. You see? You gotta block at the exact right time. Otherwise, uh, some damage gets through, I think, and it costs too much stamina. If you block them at the right time, sometimes it stuns them as well. Like that. See, I'm, I'm doing good at blocking. Raw science. Oh, so a, a new thing that happened with the update. Now there's like water coolers inside of the um, science facility, inside the lab. 
There's like a water cooler. And that's pretty cool. You know? And all th uh, in all the labs, there's like water coolers. And I feel like they put more of those candy bars out. And it, it feels like there's a, just a better balance across the map of things while the game is still super hard. For, for example, th those diving bell spiders took a bunch of stabs to kill. Okay? <laughs> they took a bunch of stabs to kill. And I'm using the, the bone trident, which is the next tier up. And I'm using the javelin air perk. And I didn't one-shot him, did I? Sort of garbage. But it's realistic. <laughs> I wasn't one-shotting him, was I? We have a few more creatures to kill in this water. Well, it's bad. In fact, I'm doing, like, no damage. You sort of have to rely on uh, smoothies as well. You have like an increased crit chance smoothie and an increased attack damage smoothie. There's like a bunch of stuff all together and then all of a sudden you're doing decent damage. Which is great. Which is just nice. So let's get some more clay. Clay is needed, you know. Clay is needed for a variety of reasons. It's used like for mannequins, for... Uh, many structures like, as like the base of it you know like the the um that drying rack required some clay the uh that dew catcher requires clay many things require clay like all of those sewing needle things the spinning wheels all all require clay all of it but also um there's a smoothie that requires clay and if I'm making smoothies, smoothies don't spoil. So, and smoothies heal you. Smoothies are like a potion that do something. And I don't think they have a cooldown. Oh my god. So if, there, if there's ever like a boss battle or something, I like to bring like 30 smoothies with me because I use it as a spammy sort of potion. For example, see my life? Watch what happens to my life when I use a bandage. Nothing. Using a bandage just gives you health over time. You see how slow I'm healing? My health over time is determined by the... Um, my health over time is determined by... The Mega Milk Molar... Uh, buffs. All throughout the game, there's a bunch of these weird vitamin teeth. They're big vitamins that look like molars. They're called mega milk molars. There's standard white ones and gold ones. And if you get them and you go back to the lab, you turn them in to activate one of several buffs. Or long-term passive bonuses. Including increased stack size for consumables, resources. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> For example, sometimes you'll find the teeth, and sometimes you'll find this. This is just like a tooth, but this is the the juice inside of the tooth. See, milk molar. So I found a milk molar, right? So the milk molars are very important. Oh! Ah! Is that the fish? Your healing over time is based upon the milk molar garbage. So you have to invest a lot to the point where your bandages are actually doing something. All the bandages really do is just heal you out of combat, you know, or whatever. It makes you return back to normalcy, but it doesn't, like, save you. The bandages don't save you. They just get you back to normal. They save you if you're running away forever and you're, like, jumping around and you're barely alive, you know? But it's not going to... If you spam a bandage, it doesn't really do much. But 
my point here is that if you spam the smoothies, they heal you. Like, you know, full health bar. You get a big chunk of health. And I'm pretty sure all of the smoothies... No! No! Wait a minute. Good lord. My point is that I need a bunch of clay so I can make a bunch of smoothies. Blasted fish. Dive, dive. Okay. <laughs> that fish smelled something. No, the fish! The fish is coming! I'm much more afraid of the fish now that it killed me. Okay. See what happens when you, when you when you when you die like that. All of your gear takes a hit in terms of durability. It's not that bad, and and you drop all the resources. You don't drop your gear or your arrows or whatever or your consumables. Just all the resources. Sort of like in Fallout 76. Okay, so now I have a bunch of this tadpole garbage. A bit too much, if you ask me. Let me kill another diving bell spider. I would like to get more water fleas as well. There you go. I need equal counts uh, water flea as the tadpole. Where is it? There it is. Okay, let's go over here. I'll put this meat away. And then we can get the... stuff we need. I have to get the... I have to make these um, smoothies. Okay? Using the water flea, the tadpole, together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Skin rinky dinker dinker do. I could put more candles out. More ant head candles. I'm so slow, Captain. So I'm taking care of all the stuff. I have to go in the water one more time. One more time. We're not done yet. I still have to go down to the um, lab to get my smoothie material. Hot swap. Okay. Liquid gales. A uh, yuck. 
A high yuck. The green machine. Done. And now I can go back in before it's really night time. In the night time, in the nighty hooby time. You can reach right up in the night time. Yes. It's time, it's time, it's time. You can't stop me now. Now to the lab. Where are we going? To the lab. Drink it. It's moving faster. Yeah, there's smoothies and food together that will help with overall damage. You can't stop Maxwell. He's just too small. Be held back by your limitations. Scooch. Scoochy scooch. Haha. -ha. What you get? Alright, where are we? I'm getting whatever I could while I'm down here, you know? Uh oh, uh oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Gotta keep my eye on that fish. Nope! Uh, 26, Shannon. 26. Yeah. The last four of my soul soul is, uh, 8142. I'm joking. My, my blood pep is AB positive. It's not really. And, uh, any other vital information you need? <laughs> My first dog name was, uh, Corpuskid. It's kind of hard to spell, though. But it's one of my important questions I use on the internet. No! Get the heck out of here. Uh, we didn't really go down yet, did I? Not yet. Almost. We're almost done. I gotta train my zombie. You know? You have that zombie self that goes in autopilot sometimes when you're doing things. The zombie self doesn't know what to do sometimes. Gotta train him good. I could be talking about one thing and doing something else. Oh, yeah. It's my birthday. And now here we go. All right, shadows. Watch the muscle sprouts. This is really why I'm here. Every couple days you gotta come back here to get these muscle sprouts. Which is really awesome. That is like a continual farmable resource. Where are we? Science! It's so raw. And now we could leave and go to bed. And start the next job. We're doing such a good, 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 good thing here.
Slim. Another boatman. Another boatman, please. More wax. Need all that wax. We'll start the next step. Yeah. Mission accomplished. Operation. Swap out clothing as a go. So step one, let's go swap it out. Yeah. You can be smart, fast, lucky, or just wear some armor. <laughs> Baby, I got the favorite baby. Yeah. Yes. You will work that silk. Work it. Yeah. And now we have what we need. Uh, extra meaty health bonus. Ho, ho, hum. Let's go spend it all. Spend it all, and I mean it. Well, first, I have the mite fuzz. Let's just see what I can do. I need gnat fuzz. Gnat fuzz, people. So I'm going to make a water boatman and a tadpole. And. And. I make this larva. You know, I should have, like, a little booth for each one. I'm trying to make these a, a different representation of each creature I could... Ooh, orb weavers. Yeah, all spiders. All the time. Wolf spider. The higher spiders need... There you go, that's nice. Sort of like, what you fighting today, pal? What you fighting today? You gotta booth it up, you know? What else do we have? B... Because, yeah, yeah, just a little baby, spiderlings, wow, specifically spiderlings. Specifically orb weavers. Wow. I'm trying to see what sort of tiers of creature. I need a bunch of gnat fuzz. The gnat fuzz people, yeah. Friendly old ant. And, ooh. Bee fuzz! You gotta bee fuzz sometimes, you know? The black onyx beetle. What else we have? I need to go, I have to go kill some, I have to go kill some, uh, I already have a firefly inside. I have to go get the, um, gnat really quick. What else we got? What else do we have? Okay. This weevil. And the afid. Afid to Zane. And... That gnat, of course. Where's my aphid? Where's my aphid? Yeah. Gonna have a party over here. All the creatures. I'll put them in a good spot eventually. Right now, I'm just trying to get them. I think that's everybody. The mosquito. Everything else requires... Ha! Ha! Sucker. Take that. I'll put some light down here eventually as well. Let's do some temporary lighting. I'll make it red. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Saturation. I like how the 360 is the same thing as zero. Okay, that makes sense. 
Yeah. I'll make it a bit dim. We're gonna go 25%. Oh my goodness. A soft light. And I'll just copy. You see? It's the same light. It's not gonna burn the house down. Okay, let's go kill an aphid and four weevil. Yeah, yeah. And? So I'm going over to Natville. Take me away again to Natty Nattyville. Yeah. Ooh. I'm in the wrong armor. Give me a second, please. Memento. Por favor. I'm American. Oh my. That's non tenable. Ugh. I got all this garbage on me. Give me a second. Mm. Fine, 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 fine. Baby. Baby. Liquid gills. I don't want to waste my brain sprouts on the... the oh, I know. The bubble gum. I would like to have this liquid gill last longer. Beeble Gaiman. Liquid rage. See, plus attack power. That's for the emergencies. All these crazy emergencies. Hedgelord. Okay, let's go... Uh, let's go put this stuff on the rack. I'm doing this stuff before nighttime. I feel like it's a waste. I don't know. Is it nighttime? What time is it? Oh my gosh. No, I don't want to dry you. Oh no, it's too late. I'm drying the tadpole. Uh, yeah. That's why I kept him. Let's make these tadpole and whatever creature stuffed animals. Why are you so small? Oh, it's because you're hanging from a leaf. Isn't that adorable? You're hanging from a leaf right here. Okay. Ain't that special. Okay, there's that. And then we have the grub I'll put over here. Temporary. Okay. And we have the water flea. And boat man. Yeah. Okay. I'll put the tadpole back over here. Okay. And then we have the um the water um The Diving Bell Spider. This is all sort of temporary. You know? I have to go get a bunch of these um, gnats right now before nightfall. Okay. Uh, the Water Flea. You are also hanging from a thread. Oh, you're halfway there. Hanging from a thread. Make it, I swear. Halfway there, baby. I'm 
I'm on a mission. I hear you. I hear you. Give me love. What do I? Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. So I'm going to go back around and get these grubs. That's all I care about right now. Maybe the aphid back there. These grubs and the um, gnat fuzz. These guys are hard to hit, so I think if I go up there, it'd be much easier. I think they'll all come to me. Ah. Uh. Hand over your goods. I'm blind. I'm gonna get radiation poisoning from this light over here. The skin cancer. Your inventory is full, like a big old chump. Hey, like a chump. Hey. But they're really talking about the gnat meat. There we go. So I'm at seven. Oh my gosh, I'm blind. I'm blinded. I'm blinded. Cause. So at this point, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to put down a gnat. What if I weren't blind? Wouldn't that be interesting? Wouldn't that be crazy? What the heck's happening? I can't see. <laughs> so now I have increased luck from these creatures. Uh, my eyes. Increased luck. I care about the fuzz. Look at all these chickens. I think we're good now. Nat fuzz, summer in the nat fuzz, back in my nat fuzz, getting all kinds of nat fuzz. Ah. Yeah. And then we roll. Back to the base building music. Is it morning already? No. No, it's 3.30 a.m. The later you go to bed, the later you can go to bed. Or wake up and go to bed. For the next day. Yeah. Don't you know? Oh no. Okay. Oh no. Uh, harmless. Okay, it's a whole tier of creatures. Okay, okay, okay. 
the entire tier of harmless creatures are the same tier. So I bet you this grub is in the same tier. Aphid, grub, weevil, uh, gnat, boatman, you know, tadpole. I bet you they're all in the same tier. That's what I have to say about it. But I'm happy with that for now. Drop it all up one time. And then we have all this garbage weevil. Or gnat. Oh. I should probably build a gnat thing here, huh? It's all the same tier, so in, in truth, I don't need to. I don't need to. It's all the same tier. Let's not. Even though it's adorable. I think I should have a rep representation of everything. Even though most of them won't. I don't know. Some of them share the same buffs. Alright, I'll cook the rest. And the muscle sprouts. I'll put the clay in here as well. Alright, so that's all good. Yes? Yeah. Bing, bang, bing, bing, bang, bing, bang, bing, bang, bing, bang, bing, and bang, and bing, and bang, and bing, and bang, and bing, and bang. All right. So far, so good. So we started off, I built some of those mushroom walls up, talked a little bit about some things. Uh, crafted a, a, a few things. I went diving just now. Got some supplies. Uh, made some more brick. Adjusted a couple of things. Made a couple of these guys. I farmed some supplies from the area. I gotta repair my shield. Yes. Everything else is fine. Be sure we're all good to go. For the most part. Before I roll out. I'll be needing to get some... Um, I'll have to get some bombardier parts while I'm out. Jiba 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 dooba doo. Okay, so now we're we're about to go. Go go go. That's what I do care about. Wait, uh yeah, 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 yeah. All geared up. Oh yes. Chow down. And I'll put the dandelion on. And we're good to go. I should probably swap it out though. It's about to expire. We have this gas resist, dust guard, poison resist thing. I don't really need that on me right now. The poison is not an issue. Roll out. we go. I'll, put, I'll take this berry out and put this in. Because I do want to head out there to get that salt. That's sort of like one of my main goals here. So we're done here. I'll be rolling out right about now. Yep. Good to go. All fine. You, you know what we need? We need these things. You see? Weevil. Grub. More gnat fuzz. Yep. We meet. And we're good to go. I already have that thing pet. I'll pet it one more time. It's not... It, oh, I do have the buff. It's just... It's, it's only showing so many buffs on the screen at once. Okay, so I'm just going to chill here in my chair. And uh, I'll be ready to go. 
I'll be running around all the way down to the bush by way of the ground route going that way. I'll be, I'll be picking up some flower petals along the way, killing a couple orb we weavers, and then some bombardiers in the corner, wrapping around maybe a mosquito or two, get some berries, and then wrap all the way over to my other base, and I'll probably sleep there for the next night over. Because I do have a bombardier beetle uh, stuffed animal there as well. After a word from your sponsor. Yeah, put my feet up by the fire in my little cozy house. A little garbage with my rock carpet, like I'm in the Flintstones or something. Like I'm in the Flintstones or something. Alright, I'll be right back after a brief message from nobody. Maybe one day. Give it 15 years. Yeah. And go. Yeah. 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 Say what? Yeah, I just wanna party right now. Yeah. I just wanna party right now. It feels good. Stepping out in the sun. We just here to have a good time. Oh yeah, it feels good. Shake it off, do it right. We ain't stopping till the night is done. You can't get enough. Right into the dark. We should live. Yeah. Okay. Time. Let me pet the creature one more time.
and we're not killing ants right now. Ant Ihalator. <gasps> Blocked attacks convert their energy. What? Here we go. I'm in a big hurry. The dot com variety. Yep. I'll grab the flower petals. I'll be killing some spiders between A and B. I only have a couple hours left. I'm trying to convert over to um the other stream in a few hours. A couple hours, you know? I'll be converting over to the Redfall at around 6 a.m. Pacific time, roughly. Or, I'll be ending this around 6, so I'll be starting that around... You gotta use axes against these dudes. I'm pretty sure. You gotta love legs. Sort of have to be perfect. Ooh, that worked. Cool. Oh my gosh. Not today, buddy. Behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you. healing. Goodbye. Just back it up a bit. Oh no, I'm actually getting hurt from that dude. Come on now. Oh, now I'm poisoned? Are you serious? Give me a second. Emergency. Oh, gosh. You see how much health I got by taking a couple smoothies? Sort of ridiculous. You're wasting my buff time. Triple strike, baby. Ooh, that would help. Okay, I'm here for these bombardier beetles for a second. Okay. 
Okay. Not today, buddy. Whoop. No. Super combo. Oh my goodness gracious. You're so accurate. Nope. Not today, buddy. Thank you. Awesome. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. Now we're going to go all the way around. Going to kill a couple larvae. We're heading around before it's too dark. Or something. Gonna have a look around. Cancel those projects as I came across. I'll pick up the honeydew. Why not? I'll drink some wild water as I pass on through. It's important to have a a an aphid. Yeah, I'll go ahead and trap all these mushrooms down. I might as well. And I'll drop them off at the next spot. Eventually, I'll bring some coal over so that we could have the bricks process at all the bases in the background. So juicy. There you go. We gotta be faster. Must go faster. Right there. I have to kill these glow bugs. The resources are precious. And they're they're not always here. Thank you. The quickness. The quickness. Okay. Awesome. I'm trying to figure out what this icon means. Every time I shoot the enemy, this weird icon appears, sort of. I don't know. But it's okay, we're still running. I'll go for a larvae if I see one. Got some water over here. And a mosquito somewhere. I can fight the mosquito. It's fine. It's no longer a death sentence. No crime, but better than nothing. At first, it is. And this is a death sentence. I can fight him, though. Let's try. I put this in the hot bar. There we go. And we're going to fight, fight, fight. I'm gonna pick his uh, peck his life down as far as possible with the arrow, and then convert over to the hammer. Boy, she is surprisingly fast. not let my guard down because I've died so many times from something happen happening that I didn't think was going to happen. Like the enemy somehow got me in some weird ultra long run. Oh, he died in the water. Oh no, bug loot is water damage. No, bug loot is water damage. No, no. It didn't drop anything. We 
that's just great. Well, it's too dark right now for me to hunt these um, berries. I'm about to make it daytime if I could, which I probably can't, because I went to bed late the day before. Either way, I'll be heading through the, the top of the berry bush right now. It's sort of my goal. Of a few goals, you know, that I have to knock out. My goodness. Let's see what time it is. If I can, can go to bed. This was my other base. You see? Ooh, ah, there's like a chair up here. It's quaint. Okay, I can't, I can't go to bed yet. Baby. Oh, yeah. I'll drop off these bug parts in the box. And the flower petal. Yep. I'll take that web with me. It, it all needs to be silk. Eventually. Okay, I'll put this in the box. Now, let's go kill some of these bad guys. Again, these bombardier beetles. I'll get them right now. Starting off with the range. I have a 17 arrows. Now close her in. There's a bunch of mites out here. Let's go for the mites first. Mm. Let me recycle this pallet. Enemies were getting distracted. So I gotta work until midnight in the game. Yeah. Oh my gosh. the top of the face. Easy peasy, actually. Done. I still have the buff active for the bombardier beetle. Bombardier beetle buff. Right in the eyeball. Okay, so now let's go melee. Oh, wait, can you... Yep. And now go. Done. Very nice. Okay, so let's go get more of these mites up and around that tree. It's something that's good to do. Okay, let's go over here by the tree. I'll drop off what we have first. I'll go to bed here and wake up in the morning and, and go explore that tree. Okay, here we go. I'll cook that creature in just a bit. But I want to go around this, um, I want to go around the, the tree and get these glow bugs as well. Firefly, get that glow bug down here. It's really important. It's important, you see, because these fireflies aren't across the map where my other base is. 
I'm not really by the pond all that much, you know? So I have to make sure to get the stuff while I can. This stuff burns, though. Oh boy, it burns. Oh yeah. Right in the butt. Right in the butt. Bam. Right in the ant. Oh boy. Right in the eyeball. We're heading to the tree. Over here somewhere. The tree bus. The tree. Right over here. And these spiders are important because I need that web. The silk. Oh no. What the heck? It's best if I just use melee on these guys. I think I need the sword on them. That works. Every so often, I explode into electricity. Those guys are filled to the brim with uh, electricity. Or, sorry, with web. Let me swap my shoes out while I'm over here because there's be combat. Smart, fast, lucky, or just wear some armor. Huh. It's combat. I took off my helmet. I'll bring these mushrooms back with me on the return trip. Or I'll leave them here in preparation for... Uh, yeah, in preparation for me bringing over the ever charcoal so I can make some ovens and process the stuff into brick. But I'm also trying to have all my brick in one spot and then move it from there. I mean, eventually I'll have enough brick to go across the entire map. Okay, we're going back this way. Where is the thing? I'm looking for the log. The log! There it is. Yay. Hey, stop it. Let's use archery. They're easy to dodge. You just gotta, like, look at them. There we go. I'm not really getting the sap right now. Let me go around the tree this way. <coughs> We're just trying to kill some time until right about now. Then so go to bed. But this is important to do. I have to get these mites. They're also on top of that tree. There's some larva down here as well. Let's go for that. Larva and grub. Poke, poke, poke. And again. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'll get that human food behind me. It's really important. I've been skipping it. Yes. I 
I'm also trying to cancel these projects that aren't currently active. Having a little pee. Cool. Yeah, I'm now strong enough to fight all the larvae, no problem. Before they were an issue. So that's nice. So what does it actually say? I'm not quite sure what this does. It says, blocked attacks convert their energy. Oh, blocked attacks. Uh, if the enemy blocks me? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, we're going to climb up this thing right now. Okay, down to Charlie. Right here. Alpha. Yeah. Thank you, mate. There might be a couple more over here. Awesome. Nope. Okay, we go this way. And I'm going for the human food. Which is right over here. Gotta be careful. Here's an axe. Sorry, here's an apple. Right here. Now, I only need the fresh apple bits. There we go. It's going to explode. Okay. We don't need the sprig right now. And I don't need this right now. The rotten food either. And the standard apple bits I'll just eat. Consume, consume. Hey Reno, how's it going there, buddy? Hey everybody, I'll be doing the Redfall live stream in just in just a couple hours, okay? Redfall, first impression. Oh yeah. Not today, buddy. Who wants to be that fool? Not me. Let's eat this hot dog or equip the hot dog. Oh my gosh. Let me trash this stack here. Jeez. Let's repair my shoes. And trash the stack. Done. Uh, let me get this. The crazy old mushroom. The explosive mushroom. Is dangerous. But I need it to make bombs, right? It's like they're reminding me. We want those fresh cookie bits. Ah, oh, this sucks. Uh Yeah, we don't need the the basic mushroom. I'm sorry. That's easy to get. And this. I have to trash a couple things really quick, if you don't mind. Trash. And I don't need you. And I don't need you. Okay. There we go. Gotta be careful out here in these parts. It's time to go to bed now. Why is that glowing? Oh, fungal growth. Okay, we're done here.
No. Run. No. 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 <laughs> it's time to fight. I might as well fight him. It's time to fight. Drink it. Yep. Come on. Uh. Okay. This is a wolf spider, folks. I did it. Woo! Well, I can officially kill wolf spiders now. I tell you. <laughs> Crazy old wolf spider. We survived. You just have to have a big old stack of potions. That's all. Was that this wolf spider? He's gone now. The spider is gone now. No lemon crime, but it's better than nothing. Okay, so now that's done. Jeez. Quite the ordeal. Anti poison. Shocking dismissal. Stabbing and smashing. Perry Master. And my armor. I'm all geared up. Now let's fight him. So yeah, we did it. I did it. We did it. Everyone together. Yes. The spider has been defeated. Uh, Put away these bug parts. Oh, yeah. Say what? Okay, I'll put away these fresh cookie bits. And this red fuzz. I'm putting away things for now so I can pick them up on the back side. Pick them up on the front line. Who? Oh. On the back end. Yeah. And let's cook some stuff. 
much faster. Whatever. I got my shoes on. So up here in the tree, we don't need the anti-spider gar uh, anti-poison. Uh, I'm about to enter the tree of yore. And these little baby spiders, let's just remind myself what they're vulnerable against. They are vulnerable versus uh, uh, harmless, angry, angry, angry. Orb weaver, stink bug, wolf spider, bombardier beetle. Where are you? Spiderling. Okay, stabbing. Oh, they are resistant to stabbing. Okay. Prepare my axe. Be using this chappy chap thing. You know what? I'll use the sword. Makes sense to me. It makes sense to me. Okay. Use the sword, so mutations. Max health. Stabbing and smashing. Resistance. Yeah. And the right there. There we go. So I'm going in. To the berry tree. To see what I can do. Tastes good. And I think I might need some... Uh, I, I might need... Uh, some web with me. Hey there, Reno. Yes. Thank you so much. Let's just make sure this is all set. I might need some. How much do I have? I have 12. It might be enough. I might need something like 20 or something. We'll see. You got your girlfriend hooked on grounded? Nice. About to roll out. Okay. Well, let's just go. Okay, I'm going to shoot these down while I wait for that. Uh, silk to process. You know? Pretty important over time to get these berries. And there's that hedge lord smoothie. The hedge is pretty rough. Sort of. All those little baby spiders. Now, I'm only here just to... Um, I've already cleared here. At my point in this game, I'm currently in the upper yard. Sort of. I just hit there. And my goal for this stream is to get a bunch of salt from the sand hill and then make a, the next tiered hammer by killing the... Uh, black ox beetle with salty arrows. But I wanted to take care of a couple things. And this is part of it. I have to kind of go through and get these berries. And those mites. So here we go. Let me get that final silk. Best if we parallel process. That's good enough. Do I have 15 at least? <gasps> I have 14. Let's wait. 
let's not wait. Let's go in. So now we're about to go through and kill these spiders. I'll get nice and fast with the aphid shoes shoes on. Nice and safe. And the other perk. Ooh boy, it's kind of dangerous going really fast. And I'll make sure to have my dandelion on. Jeez, I didn't have it on. Let's go check my daily quests. Uh-huh. 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 Mighty glob is more than mighty. It's a glob. Oh. Yes. Okay, here we go. It's almost dangerous going this fast. Let's take off these shoes. Bring it. We go this way for a second. Oh my god. No, uh, Reno, I've never done any of the bosses, but that's only because I didn't play the game correctly last time, but I'm, I'm doing it correctly this time. I didn't do certain things during my first playthrough. I didn't do those mixer stations. And that you gain access to this room I never gain access to and some other garbage and so on. So I think I'll figure that out. But during my last playthrough, I never did any, any of the mixer station defense things. And I didn't do any of the bosses. You know, I didn't do the bosses. Any of them. Cause I, I couldn't figure out how to make that next tier of item. And I never figured out how to, how to like how to do the orc mind control thing i was getting those uh, i reached a point in the game when when the enemy was sending in those mind controlled um bugs and i was killing a bunch of them and i was getting their little mind control unit items or whatever you know but i never figured out how to actually use them i never reached that point But you're talking about the brood mother spider up here on the frisbee. The Perry Master. Okay. Woo. This is awesome! Everything is awesome as well. Ha! Suck up. Caught you sleeping. Who? <laughs> I caught him sleeping like a chump. I thought having like the, the bush here as a biome is a really clever thing. See, I, I sort of forget how to uh, get over there. And that's what we're trying to figure out right now. The 
forget. Let's see what's around here. I did it last time. I don't know if this is the spot. And those leaves are so dangerous. And horrible. And scary. I don't know. Fine. I'll do it one time. I'll, I'll do it one time. Good, 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 good. You figure games would make it obvious. Let me go down there. No. Ugh. No. Son of a flim flam. Let me just look at it. I gotta look at it from the other side. I think that was it. I just messed up. I completely forget, so we're doing it from scratch. But not really from scratch. I have like some shadow memory of certain things. Deep inside the flim flam, there's a deep genetic memory of what to do. Because part of my memory says that there's a shortcut here that you can just go up here, but you know, it's, you can't. But that's clearly it. Now, let's go this way. Let's do it one more time, really quick, really quick, really quick. Really quick. You can be smart, fast, lucky, or just wear some armor. But I did the first mixer defense station yesterday, and it was nice. It was nice. Move, 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 move. Faster, faster. Nerp. You'd think games would make things obvious sometimes. Yeah. Oh, if you do all mixtures and unlock something? Yes. So, y yesterday... Wait a minute. So yesterday I did the Black Hill or the Black Ant Hill lab, okay? Yesterday. And in the final room when you're in there, you can go left and left with a locked door and the locked door there's a tape talking about the mix for defense units and everything and a bunch of documents talking about the mix for defense units and a board showing about the concentrate for the mixer blah 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 units, you know? And then the door had a symbol, and it said it had the same symbol as it, it said time seven, blah, and I couldn't get into the door, you know? There's, there's a door, some weird robot control room situation I couldn't gain access to. So. I'm thinking I have to go right down there. And then inch my way past, but it, it appears like right around. there. It'll shove me off. I have to jump on it and then go up and around desperately. So let's do it again. One. I don't think I could be. I could hit that. Let's take these shoes off because it's dangerous. Now I'm thinking I, I could hit this. Okay, here we go. Yes.
I'm doing it, everybody. Maybe. I'm doing it. <laughs> yes, in the black uh, ant lab. In the final boss room. You're in this room with the big glass wall that you have to blow up with the bomb. So, in the final room, in the black ant hill lab. No. In the final room of Black Ant Hill Lab, there's like a big glass wall. You blow it up with the bomb. You fight the you fight with the lasers and the shocking things. Up to the left, there's a little room that you can't access. And I'm pretty sure you gain access to it via the flim flams. So why is this? Why do you even exist? We did it, everybody. We did it. High five. It's not the clearest thing. All right, we have to go kill this mosquito. Now, the mosquito again. What is it weak towards? I, I forget. Have I not scanned him? You. Chopping and slashing. Okay, cool. No! Schnell, Schnell, Schnell. Good lord. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Aha. Oh no, I didn't bring the materials for the... I have to bring the materials for the flim flam. I have to bring the materials for the, um, marker. Fight me! Take that. Yeah. Pow. Nope. Jeez. Hey, where are you? Get away from the water. Water damaged garbage. Okay. Mega milk molar. It's slow time. Off him. Uh, uh. All right. Science. whole upper area. Hmm. 
Mhm, mhm, mhm. Let's see what's around here. Mhm, mhm, mhm. About to come back with the um, sapling and the clover and the rope or whatever. You know. No. Okay, we don't have forever to play this game, you know. I have other things I have to do. Can you pick when to end the game? Oh, I'm sorry, um, I misread what you wrote. Yes, you can pick when to end the game, and you gotta be careful, because you could accidentally end the game. It, it doesn't make it the most clear, it's not the most clear thing in the world, and mine just ended suddenly, and it was, it was over before I really wanted it to be. The f when I did it, and I was very disappointed when it happened. Because I wasn't ready. Okay, I need plant fiber, clover leaf, and sprig. Calabunga! Newport News. Whatever that means. There we go. And boom. It's no lemon crime, but it's better than nothing. Yeah. I ended mine by accident. It was very clear, and the game was over. It gave me a score. There was a song. Did you... You saw my ending, right? There was like a song that played. This is the end. This is the end of the game. There's nothing left to play. Oh, it's over. No. There's nothing left to do. The game is done. So here's a song for you. Or something like that, you know? Sad. This is the end. It's such a sad thing. They make sure that you know that the game is over. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me get the rest of these berry, uh, if I didn't already get them. And then I'll, I'll pick up the sprig and the clover. Water damage crow feather. Okay. I'll get a couple clover. I'll be doing it again this time. Do I have enough to make what I need to make? Uh, nope. I need two plant fiber. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Hey, hey. Okay. Get back to the sprinting time. All geared up. Sprint in time. What else do we have for the uh, Meals on the Weed Killer Peak? I'm not quite sure where the Stepping Stone Summit is. I know where the Weed Killer Peak is, though. My first playthrough, I didn't do the quests as much as I should. It gets harder and harder to do because some of it is a mystery. It'll just describe something. This is the end. Bounce. Bam. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, so. 
the plant fiber, the sprig, and the cloverge. It's French. Cloverge. And we roll back up into the mountains of your. Just like a fruit pounder. You're darn right it is. Again, we traverse the hillsides of your. I'm trying to quickly navigate to. Here, I'll put my headlamp on. We're trying to quickly navigate back to uh, the bird bath. I'm going a bit fast, so I might fall off. Ah, I'm going so fast. I didn't notice that thing before. <gasps> okay. Oh yeah. I might as well get this stuff while I'm here. Because it's really easy now. I mean, this, this is a black ant sword. It just wrecks these guys. I need these bug parts, you know. I wasted a bunch earlier making that glue. It's a waste because my items aren't leveled up enough to even use the glue. Thank you for the furs. Mm -hmm. One point five volts. Raw science. If only chemistry class was this easy. Mm-hmm. <gasps> there it is. Was this it? I think it was. And I jumped up here. No, no, I think I jumped down. Well, this sucks. Ah. This sucks. Yep, this is the way. This is the way, you hear me, Mando? Huh? Yeah. Skinny Marinky Danky Dank. Uh. Horrifying. It'd be funny, uh, it's funny that they, they addressed Arachnophobia. Okay. It's funny that they addressed that by having a sliding option under the accessibility to remove the number of legs visible. Okay. <laughs> but what about the fear of heights? Acrophobia? 
What about that? No one cares about the fear of heights? What if they had some crazy sliding accessibility feature for the fear of heights? Where they make a false bottom or something? Where they make fog appear when you're high enough? Wouldn't that be stupid? Okay. Wee. Oh no. Wee. Well, that's all done. Great success. And now let's go. And I'm heading back. Back across the map. I'll, I'll go to bed if I could. I know it's a bit late. I might as well get a bit more clay while I'm in the area. There you go. Oh, yeah. So that's all done. So now we'll be going up to the to the weed killer peak. I have to do it anyways, because I'm I'm heading out fresh. to the sand pit. Bing bang what? Bing and bang and bing and bang and bing. And we'll get these bug parts with me. Make sure we bring everything back all these important bug parts yeah Red time. right there in the in these flower petals and what else the feathers or something dry grass plant fiber rope ant parts lily pad wax some sap clay fuzz Okay, I'm bringing all this back. Yeah. And some silk. Yeah. Once I wake up, I'll have a full stack of silk ready. Uh-huh. And a full stack of this. Mm -hmm. It's all because I didn't I didn't put back my water gear, my trident and underwater knife. Okay. We'll get this whole stack of silk with me. I don't need that singular mite fuzz. Okay, thank you. And we roll. Out. I can save. Right now. Sippy, sippy, sippy. No food. No food. Okay, so now we're, we're going to be going across the map. I'll go by way of my zip line. I'm heading back by my pond base first.
Okay. Faster. I'll have to kill some more bombardier beetles around the corner. I should have the parts on me. Yep. Rolling. Good old bombardier beetles. They're not back yet. Good. There we go. I'll put the other shoes on. With some spider action around this corner, maybe. Nope. I'm still recovering from my damage. All that damage I did to him. Okay, I killed a ladybug, I think. I have a ladybug part with me. So I didn't. I already had it. But we killed a another wolf spider, and we have the poison resistance level 2. There we go. All that stuff I just dropped off. A whole lot of it. A whole lot of it. Oh, yeah. This crow feather. And make sure to process all this into slurry. Mighty Glob. I see. Good old sturdy whetstone. Now over here, I could make the brittle stuff, right? Yeah. Okay, now I can make the sturdy uh, shards. And upgrade a few things. The sturdy plating. A whole lot of it. And then I can make the mighty glob. I'm going to save that for the next tier of my items. But, let's make a few of these. And a few of these. A whole lot of them. And now let's upgrade everything. Okay. Up to level 5 at the very least. There it is. And then... Everything else. We've reached a point where brittle whetstones are relatively cheap. Yes, we, we have. So, this trident. Quite a bit. Let's put away everything else. Dirty plating. Okay. We got these bombardier parts. Yeah, with the bug stuff, yes. It's awesome. Come on, stop it. I, uh, I love having multiple uses for, or many uses for items.